Future man, big boy versus back right now. Bang already right now. As you see, we're in the demo of NBA 2K21. Yes, NBA 2K21. I have the best stretch playmaker build in the game. We have Hall of Fame defensive badges, man. So you're probably wondering, how do I have Hall of Fame defensive badges on a stretch playmaker? Because you would assume the stretch playmaker has yellow green pie chart, but this does not. So what you want to do is do position power forward. Shooting hand does not matter. Whatever you're more comfortable using. I use left. I've been using left for a while now, but right could also work if you're comfortable with right jersey number obviously does not matter you just pick whatever number you want favorite number whatever you want to do so this is where it gets interesting so i was thinking of doing the because i'm trying to get a shooting center belt so i was thinking of doing the one with the more red and the green but then i was also thinking like the green red half half or the yellow green it was so many options to get play stretch or whatever kind of build i wanted to do but the i think this is the best shooting center belt i did half green half red pie chart and then the physical profile i did all speed and the reason i did the um red green pie chart is because i get a play play make a stretch with hall of fame defensive edges which is huge instead of having gold defensive edges and you also have hall of fame shooting badges with this which is also huge because then you get more badges as you'll see later in the video i will show you my badges so with the shooting you want to max everything out and then lower the free throw as i did to a little bit then a playmaking you want to lower the ball handle not ball handle um post moves and upgrade everything else so you have one finishing badge 19 shooting 10 playmaking and 20 defense and what you want to do is upgrade the steal up to as much as it needs to get to 21 or as little as it needs whatever way you're going and the driving dunk is max with the rest of the leftover attributes so if you could pause the video right here real quick copy all these attributes because that's the only way you can basically get this stretch playmaker build you could probably change some things up but this is the best way to do it we're gonna do is six foot eight yeah six foot eight it's kind of short but since you have all these defensive edges it's not going to be a big problem and what you want to do with the weight is you want to max out the weight because you will still have 73 speed i'm pretty sure or no 72 speed you'll still have 72 speed which is really fast for a center and your strength goes up and your vertical will stay at 67 which means these are basically even and you're just gonna be really fast as a center with max weight with good strength the wingspan you want to max and then this is where it also gets interesting i could get sharp take on this build or defensive whatever you want to really go with i want a sharp take but because it's i have a 73 pointer and you need a better three pointer when it like you don't really need a better three pointer to shoot but like it's better when it's higher and the sharp take boost your three pointer so much and as you see right there stretch playmaker shades of charles barkley jason tatum and al horford I think it's most like Jason Tatum. I don't really think of the other two, but Jason Tatum is a good like build, build, make your build around. So now I'm gonna show you guys the badges of this video uh, of the build, what to use, what's good, and once it gets through it, yeah. So now I'm gonna put it 99 overall rating. It doesn't really matter. You could just put 60. It's just a demo. It doesn't actually mean your actual stuff. So the finishing badge, I went with fancy footwork you didn't really have to and the finishing badges doesn't matter it's just one badge and i got the best shooting badges that you could use right here is hall of fame hot zone hunter hall of fame catch and shoot i put bronze right now but i'm gonna go back to hall of fame you'll see in a second and the green machine's gonna be on gold i messed up a bit but hall of fame dead eye and now i put hall of fame catch and shoot hall of fame really extender and that is it for the shooting badges and now onto the playmaking badges so you get 10 playmaking badges on this build and it's not even a yellow in the pie chart which is pretty nice if you guys know from last year i pretty much had a glass lock with 19 um 17 shooting not 19 and it was like 22 defense it was basically like this build it just wasn't six foot eight it was six ten so it's basically like the same as this and i was pretty nice with the glass lock it's pretty much the same like build layout we had sharp take that build has sharp take so it's pretty much the same i'm just a little shorter so it's not a big difference but this is now with the defensive badges we put hall of fame brick wall bronze box Chase down artist on gold right now, but I put it to silver because I want to hire up the pogo stick. Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Room Protector, Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. And as you'll see right here, I'm lowering the chase down artist now. And I'm going. There we go. Yep, gold chase down and gold pogo. So these are the defensive badges. I'm pretty sure I'm not changing anything else. Yep, yeah, confirmed. So that's the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace. Out. Thank you.